Hey everybody, welcome back to Persona 3 Portable. It's Caffeine Gaming here. Last time we got into Tartarus and we really haven't done too much yet, but this is our first big trip into Tartarus uh, that we'll be exploring kind of on our own to do whatever we need to do. So first things first, before we go running in, I want to stop by the Velvet Room and actually do uh, Fusion. And the reason I want to do this is because Pixie and Absur, Absur is here, I'm guessing is how her name is pronounced, are pretty common. Actually, I can't do this yet because I'm not level 5. I completely forgot that I'm not level 5 yet. We're going to be wanting to do this very, very soon. Um, don't use Orpheus. I'm not going to be using Orpheus. Let me rephrase what I should be saying here. I'm not going to be using Orpheus to do any fusing except for one, which we'll do at a later point. Um... But we are going to just jump in here. By the way, I found out something else about Tartarus. A few floors up, there's a barricade preventing you from going any higher. The tower seems to have a number of those uh, interspersed amongst its floors. I know I told you that the layout changes each day, but these barriers seem to be in fixed locations. Therefore, I'd like you to try and reach the first barricade. But don't push yourself too hard. If you go back in from the entrance, you'll be able to resume from the highest floor you previously reached. I'll give you these two just in case. And we get some stuff. We'll talk about some of those later. If you run into danger, don't hesitate to use them. I'm counting on you. We should be fine. Um, I'm not too worried about any of this. Um, so what she's talking about, uh, give me a moment and I'll check to see what's beyond this floor. Hmm? I detect a great source of power above you. It's still relatively far away, but keep your guard up nonetheless. Okay, so let me go ahead and pause real quick here. Um, so she's basically saying, there's a couple things going on here. The first thing that's going on is that there's a barricade several floors above us that we need to deal with. Uh, secondly, there's a, a, there's a source of power above us. So the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to explore each floor to its entirety unless a certain somebody of Doomish shows up. Oh, shit. Okay, um, well, that's a nice start. We have... Assault by two enemies, by two, two enemies here. We've got the magic hand. The magic hands are weak to the fire. They resist ice and they're found all over the place down here. So the enemies uh, are different on each block <laughs> that we'll be in. So keep that in mind that the enemy change from block to block. Okay. Let's go ahead and take these guys out. Um, I'm going to be putting overlays so you guys can see the weaknesses because sometimes I won't be getting around to actually analyzing each enemy and it's just not worth waiting around to do so and taking damage. Now this is how we make money. So the first thing we'll do in shuffle time is get persona and the second thing is to get money. So I want to go ahead and get that a yen sign. There we go, coin. So we get 820 yen. For this, for this um, today, I want to save up to about, I think, 60,000 yen, which is a lot. And that, you know, you have a big warning sign that we're not making that much money off of battles, as you just noticed. And we only have a little over 5,000 yen right now. So we have a ton of money that we need to make. But you're going to want to do that because we're going to be doing a ton of arcade stuff. All right, we have a second new Three enemy here. We've got the Merciful first. Maya. These Rock. guys are weak to ice, I'll electricity, to and wind. Yeah. They resist fire, and they're all over the place. So let's go ahead. Um, first of all, let's go ahead and show off the Persona Changer here. Um, yeah, so Absurus here can actually use uh, Bufu. I think Pixie uses Dia. So let's go ahead and change to her. And let's go ahead and show off the ice attack. So one of the things is right now, I'm going to go ahead and show that off in a second. Uh, Yukari doesn't have, oh, of course she doesn't. So if you look at what Junpei here is, he only has cleave, but if you see him attack, he does quite a bit of damage. Yukari here only has Dia. She is our healer right now. Oh, and she did a nice critical hit. Um, eventually she will learn wind skills. So you can see here that they are weak to fire, or they're strong against fire, but weak against ice, electricity, and wind. Alright, so it's going to ice attack. But yeah, Yukari will learn wind, and Junpei will largely only learn uh, physical attacks, but he will also learn um, some fire attacks. 
Okay, so the most important thing here is gonna be that money. So let's go ahead and snag that. Um, I have no tips <laughs> for tracking which um, which one's which. So I apologize for that. Let's go ahead and keep going here. Okay, we got another Three enemy here. We've got the Cowardly one. Maya. So I'll these ones this time are enemy. weak against fire, electricity, and wind. Uh, so let's go ahead and switch back to Orpheus. And let's go not use Bash. So for this particular game, um, what I will do is I will be using mostly elemental attacks. There's really few times where using your basic weapon is really better than your your uh, elemental stuff, um, which is a little different than Persona 4. So, all right, let's get that money. Fantastic. And Orpheus has grown to level three. Fantastic. And he's going to get, or she is going to give us the Augie skill card. Um, we'll talk about those later. Or just like skill cards, you just teach a persona. That's a dead end, so let's go ahead and go this way. Okay, let's go ahead and get this chest here. We get uh, two, almost 2,000 yen. So that's really how we're gonna be making a lot of our money this time is going to be going through those chests. And this kind of is a overarching thing for this game. Mostly, like even later in the game, chests have a ton of money in them. So, all right, so Yukari has leveled up here. So she's level four now and she's going to learn Patra. And I believe Patra can clear fear and distress. And I think that's right. Let's take, let's double check real quick here. I can never really remember. Let's see here. Uh, dispels panic, fear, and distress. Um, we haven't talked too much about um, some of the the stuff that we're going to need to know about, like distress, but we'll talk about those later. Okay, so we're in the shuffle time again, and this time we don't have any money. We have Pixie, so we're going to be going after the... I don't know what that's... A, a leaf of some sort. It's the wand, I think, but it's got leaves on it, which I think is kind of weird, which gives us bonus XP, as you can see here. Um, yeah, it goes ahead and boosts it. I'm not entirely sure how much it boosts it. Uh, real quick here, we've got this, which allows you to return to the entrance, which we're not going to use, and stairs, which actually allows us to go to the next level. This whole place is like a maze. Even the access points seem randomly distributed. If you don't, if you feel like you're in danger, don't hesitate to return. We're gonna be fine. So let's go ahead and get this chest first thing. More yen. I think we're. Oh, we're at eleven thousand now, so that's great news. Let's go ahead and go north first. Okay, so uh, yet another shuffle time where things are different. The card on the far left is like a broken card where nothing happens. Since we've already got Pixie, we're gonna go ahead and get the cup. The cup. Uh, allows us to heal, so it'll heal some of our HP. It does not heal SP. Uh, so I'm still at the low at the low end of the SP. So you can see here that I have 12 SP left out of 64. I'm gonna go ahead and use the return point here, since we're not too far into this level. And the reason I'm gonna do that is because I'm gonna go to the clock and I'm gonna go ahead and heal the party. So it's gonna cost a little bit again, which is depressing, but we're now completely level or back healed up again. And we're gonna wanna do this occasionally, um, simply because it's, <laughs> I don't want to run out of FSP. You feel like you've had a few new ideas about fighting. It seems to be able to gain more XP on this floor. Oh, fantastic. Good news. So occasionally when you go to a floor that you've already been to, a event will happen like the one you just saw. Oh, and we have a new enemy here. We've got the Muttering Tiara. The Muttering Tiaras are weak to ice and wind, but they resist fire. And we've got the Merciful Maya, who are weak to uh, ice. So let's just go ahead and switch over. And just make them all very cold. That's a critical. I think I've talked about that before. So you do a little bit extra damage there. And you, I don't believe you can ever miss when that happens, which is actually kind of nice. 
Mona Annalise nice. resulted in failure. Yeah, sorry. Uh, the enemy got destroyed. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and select the XP boost here. And that goes across all of your party members, of course. We got 48 from there. We got Ooh, we got to level 5, which is what we wanted to do because we actually want to fuse uh, some persona so we can find the... Well, eventually when we find an exit, we'll be leaving to do that. Ah, okay. So here's a good thing that came up. So if an enemy is distressed, uh, a couple things can happen. First of all, you can't miss it. Um, it's because it's distressed, it's like freaking out. Uh, let's see, it's weak to fire here. Uh, additionally, the chances of you getting a critical hit on it using your attack. There you go, see? Uh, I think you almost always get a crit on them if they are distressed like that. Additionally, they may run rather than fight. They're, they're, just, they're distressed. So that's actually really, really nice. If you are a certain, like, if you're like super high. Ooh, we learned Garu here. If you're super high in level, I don't know what the, the cutoff is, but if you're in a higher level than the enemies that you're fighting, uh, that would be, like, we just saw they were level 2 and we're level 5. Uh, the chances of them being distressed increase. And it will get to the point where, like, enemies on screen as we're running around Tartarus will actually become distressed and run from us and try and avoid battle. That's actually good. We want that. Okay, let's go ahead and head down here and see. Hey, no, no, no. Okay, so you see how Junpei is stuck? Let's go ahead and get him unstuck. Uh, that's a quick way to not having a party member. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going here. Yukari took a bit of damage there, but I'm not too worried. Alright, let's see what's in here. It's 1600 yen. Yes, please. Okay, so let's go ahead and head back. Now, in this game, the re respawning of enemies is actually really really common um, actually we're not running into too many right now but generally when you start coming going back like to an, uh, an area that you've already been in the chances of them being enemies exactly where you fought them is really high I'm really surprised there's not as many this time around that's okay it seems that it seems that powerful foe above you is closer than I thought if you don't think you're ready then don't test your luck uh, we'll be fine. Don't worry. Alright, let's go ahead and take this guy out. Okay, so let's keep going here. Uh, we've got like a little room. There he is. He's trying to find the enemy. Alright, that was super easy. Let's keep going here. Another enemy. Okay, so we just leveled up to level 6. I don't know why I clicked through that so quickly. My apologies. Uh, we didn't learn anything there, but we did actually get up to level 6, so that's fantastic news. Let's go ahead and grab this. Ooh, we get a new blade. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and equip that. No, not status. That would be for Junpei here. Uh, you can see here that it's going to increase his attack to 40, and this is the one that they had at the police station last episode. So yeah, we really didn't need to buy that. So a good way to save money is just to not buy supply, not to buy equipment. Um, for the most part, like I've said before, I don't buy equipment. I don't see a reason to it. Now, uh, so yeah, we don't really want to be purchasing equipment that are is basically that we can go ahead and purchase or that we can go ahead and find. And a lot of times we can find better equipment in Tartarus than we can like actually purchase. Which is a real pain. Okay, it looks like we've got an extended level down here. There's the exit behind us. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, take these guys. Oh no. Alright, well, let's just go ahead and show this off because it won't take that long. That really hurt, but let's go. If you click on the triangle button, you go into rush mode. Wow, where you actually just attack. That's all you do. And it makes battle go a hell of a lot quicker, if you noticed. So let's go ahead and just. Uh, get the experience because we kind of need that. Now we got hurt there so let's go ahead and if you go to skill here which is at the top, I'm going to go ahead, eh, go ahead and have Yukari heal the entire party. It doesn't use that much SP and we really needed it. 
I'm having a hard time seeing enemies on the floor. Okay, so Yukari has leveled up to level 6 here. And Hermes, or Junpei, has also leveled up to level 6. Now he'll be learning Repatra here at level 7, though I can't remember off the top of my head what that does. Don't worry, it's nothing super exciting, I'm sure. Well, I guess I don't want to say it's nothing exciting, it's just nothing super new. A lot of this stuff, if you've played Persona 4, you've seen it. Oh! Alright, so let's go ahead and talk about gold enemies as I walk back to the stairs. Gold enemies are essentially the creepy hands that run around the dungeon, like in Persona 4. They are the hands, and yeah, they run, but they have a tendency to vanish, like you just saw. <laughs> okay. I detect three shadows in this floor's central area. They're not like the ones you fought before. If you're not ready to face them yet, then return to the entrance and reorganize. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So if you go forward here... Ah. Hmm? Is that? excuse moi But can you have a look at that a device near you? Let's go ahead and do that. So if you go to this, this device is similar to the one at the entrance. The device has been activated. So we, we actually looked at this, but we couldn't do anything with it. So I knew it. That device is a sort of portal that connects all the devices together. By activating it, you can move to the entrance, as well as between devices within Tartarus. You should take good advantage of these when you find them. They'll be useful during expeditions. So yeah, you can now go, if you click on this, you can now go back to floor 5. We can also talk to the uh, entrance there. But before we do anything, let's go ahead and now let's fuse a new persona here. Let's we'll go ahead and put Avarice and Pixie together so we can get Nekomata. Uh, the corresponding social link is at level 1. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I'm not too worried about it. So, just like all the other Persona games, well, at least 4, <laughs> I'm assuming 5 will be the same thing. If your social link is high enough, you'll get more power. But when you're trying to increase your social link, you want to have a matching Persona with you. I'm Neko Mata. I guess I have no choice but to protect you. Jerk. So, goes ahead and gets a little bit more um, experience because we have one social link with Junpei. So she goes ahead and levels up to level 6 and learns Provoke, which we will probably never use. Alright, so now we have a Magician Arcana Persona in our inventory and we're going to want one of those when we leave, so just, just a heads up. Let's go ahead and heal the party. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and heal. And let's go ahead and save. Um, we are going to be going into like a mini boss battle here, so you're definitely going to want to to do that. All right, let's go ahead and head into Tartarus to back to floor five. All right, so she's just gonna go ahead and repeat what she said, and we're gonna go ahead and get in here to take this out. So as you, if you see, look at, look at the map down there, you can see that there's three shadows that we're gonna be facing. You can win, I'm certain of it. All right, so our first mini boss. The enemy is stronger than you're accustomed to. Proceed with caution. That's fine, is the Venus Eagle. So the Venus Eagle to is weak to enemy. piercing attacks. It blocks wind, light, and dark, and it absorbs fire, so we're not going to be using any elemental attacks uh, in this case. Uh, it is level 5, and it has they each have 150 HP, or, yeah, HP. Uh, now, so if you take a look real quick here, we don't actually have any piercing attacks, so what we're going to do is we're just going to attack. And we don't do that much damage, but Yukari actually does have a pierce attack. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and have her attack two of the eagles. Keep it up. And then we're going to have her attack one of the eagles again. So this is going to make the Venus Eagle tired. The enemy's Basically recovered. that gives us a chance to continue on. This is part of the problem is these guys can use wind and Junpei is weak to wind. And we can't actually see what they're weak to here, but it is an Empress type arcana. So that's interesting. So now we're going to go ahead and have... The party members attack the downed Venus Eagle. And I'm not weak to win, thank goodness. Now, 
I would have the main character actually be on healing at this point. Now, I will not be using any of the all-out attacks. No, because that actually means that all of the enemies are going to be up. This actually keeps one of the enemies in dizzy mode constantly, which is really what we want. That's fine. Uh, Yukari is strong against wind attacks. So yeah, it's great if they use it against her. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go after the downed enemy. Couldn't finish it up. So yeah, I would definitely use your main character to heal. I don't think we're gonna have any problem with this. Let's go ahead and take these guys out. Now if we do this right, what I'll do is I'll take out the <laughs> please hit. No 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 no, not yet. We're gonna go after the one that's weakened already. So we should be able to take him out enemy has this time. Okay, I was about to say, please go after me. Good. So let's go ahead... Oh, both of them are down still. Yeah, so we went ahead and took out the one, so that's fantastic news. Oh, he's gonna use a slash attack. Does quite a bit of damage, but it's actually not that big of a deal, so let's just go ahead and attack whichever one we want. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just target this guy. And let's just go ahead and knock him down for right now. In the next go around, we will probably be using an all-out attack because... Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and go wipe this guy out this time. I'm actually surprised about how many crits I'm getting here. Like, I'm really impressed. Okay, so this is the last one. Let's go ahead and take him down. And yes, like I said, we're going to be using an all-out attack because we have only one left. If you have all three up, it's because we're such a low level, we can actually get kind of overwhelmed by these guys. So you can see here, we really didn't do all that much damage against this guy uh, when we did the all-out attack. And that's the second problem, is these guys have high evasion. I'm just going to take him down again. We'll be fine. Actually, I didn't quite take him down yet. I like how they're targeting Hikari. Oh my gosh, their evasion is so high. This is ridiculous. Take him out. Jeez, that one's fast. Did you just miss? Hikari, this is not the time for that. Bows are extremely hard to uh, hit, so yeah. All right, so we won. Uh, no big deal there. We get three Empress's Max, M Empress's Masks. Uh, Orpheus is leveled up to level 4. Yeah, apparently that's it. So first things first, let's go ahead. Oh, not here. Let's actually go forward here. And you can see we get to pick up a uh, thing here. So we get a bead chain. So the Empress's masks are kind of unusual. So this is a golden mask. It might be valuable. We're going to be picking up items that we can sell for money. And that's a big thing in this game because it's so hard to make money in the dungeons that they actually put these items in here that we can sell. The bead chain fully restores all um, parties HP. Oh, we didn't talk about these. Um, these are like one use items that do good things like this one which restores 50% of HP and gives us agility up. So that's good. Additionally, we have gems. I think we had like the go homes from Persona 4. These ones are gems. So these ones allow uh, escape from most battles. This one allows escape from a dungeon, which I think I've used these like once. And I think that was because of the Reaper, which we'll talk about later. Um... Nothing else really to talk about there. All right, so we've gone ahead and completed floor five here. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and give you guys a taste of the, well, the dungeons here. Oh, actually, we missed it. I got a little excited when I was talking. I'm gonna go ahead and head to the ba back to the first floor. So in each section, there's usually three bosses. I think that changes much, much more uh, later. To or well, I guess no, it changes to two later. But I think eventually it ends up being. Like, there's two bosses per section. So essentially, it'll be a mini boss and then like a bigger mini boss. In this case, the first section we've got like two, two mini bosses and then a bigger mini boss. But it's no big deal, we can handle it. Um, next time we're definitely going to be getting to the next boss. And then I'm not entirely sure how far we'll go from there since um, we don't have a lot of enemies in the first section. We've only got... 
seven different, well, eight different enemies, including the wealth hand that we saw that was skittering around. That was the gold enemy. We probably won't be facing that until later. Um, it's a lot easier to go after the golden enemies when you're a higher level because first of all they won't notice you there's i feel like the chances of, of them actually noticing you you can actually catch it up to them is lower when you're a higher level not entirely sure why that is um it's just something i've noticed in the last couple times i've played but uh it's a lot easier to beat them when you're a higher level because their evasion is probably the highest in the game it's ridiculous so we only have about seven enemies that we can actually face, and because of that, the next few levels, um, the next few floors, are probably going to go really quick because I'm going to be cutting out almost every battle. So next time, we'll get to the next next mini boss and see if we can get to that barrier that Mitsuru was talking about. So I'll see you then.